Hello everybody, welcome back. In this video we are finally having a look at the character that we'll be working on for this uh, series of tutorials. So we will be working on this character and creating the full 360 rig of this guy right here using all five views that we have over here as well as the different head tilts that we're going to find uh, at the bottom of this design here. So you can find this uh, this character inside of the files materials that you have available in the download folders of this module. Make sure that you go and get them uh, before we get started. Um, now in this particular topic I wanted to address something uh, that may be a little bit taboo in um, in certain cases. Uh, so and that is adapting the design of your character to accommodate your rig. Um, now, I've always pretty much been a strong believer that the design should not be dictated by uh, the rig itself, but in terms of creating a 360, sometimes it can make a lot of sense to do little changes that are going to make you gain hours of time uh, to not necessarily accommodate these few different views or drawings that will have uh, minor differences between all of them. Um, now, when you are working at a studio, this is not something that's always possible. If you are doing something or creating a project for yourself, however, maybe you want to consider the possibility of making things uh, a little bit simpler on some views uh, or adapting certain things so that the systems won't necessarily blow out of proportions. If you are working in a studio, then this is something that is definitely uh, to be brought to your superior or to your um, producer to make sure that you don't change the designs um, on a whim and without warning anyone. So you want to make sure that you do that with uh, somebody's approval. Now in terms of changing the designs for this guy, he may undergo a few changes as we uh, start creating the rig. So if we just look at the different views that we've got right here. So we are going to start off with the front view. So already I'm kind of noticing a few things about the character, uh, notably that the design and the line on the head over here is kind of thinning out and becoming nothing over here, which is good. I mean, it's kind of just staying constant over on this side. Over here we have part of the line that is showing on certain pieces and stopping here. Over here we have a line appearing on the head. Um, so having lines appearing and disappearing throughout the rig is something that will uh, require quite a bit of work. So for things like this, perhaps having a line over here on this side might not be the greatest idea. We may want to keep it consistent using this one or not using any at all in some cases if that's going to make it easier. So you want to look at all of the different views. So if I check out the other ones, here I have no line at all. Um, and having a line over here on the side may look a little bit weird. So we could decide to create one drawing that has it, another drawing that doesn't have it. Um, and over here on this side, I do need to have a certain line. So we'll be able to see just how we decide to handle these things. Um, and additionally, we have the one over here. So all of these need to be handled differently depending on how you decide to go about it. Now, some designs will not have a line surrounding uh, different limbs of the character, such as the head, for instance. And sometimes that can cause a few problems. Uh, for instance, if the arm was overlapping with the torso, then we would kind of lose that because the color is identical in both cases. Um, so all these things need to be taken into consideration when uh, creating your rig. You'll see that the little pieces of chest hair as well are kind of changing as we go here. Some of these are uh, losing a part of the line. So that's something that could be considered to just keep them as it is. Or again, you could create new drawings. But uh, in a 360, generally speaking, you can add new drawings, but we try to not necessarily have too many um, because the idea is that you want to use those drawings to 
uh, basically just offset them without applying uh, new drawing substitutions all over the place. Um, we may have some things also um, for the legs that we have over here. They are changing volume. So if I look at it at a certain angle and I want to be able to reuse, oops, let me just use a brighter color here and make those thinner. So if I look at about here, the size of the knee and I go over on this side and just kind of rotate that to, to have about the same size. Already it's kind of like a little bit wider and over on this side it becomes even more obvious. This is all fine. If you wanted to reuse this particular leg and just offset it, not going to work so well. So we'll need to consider putting uh, deformation around a lot of these limbs, including the arm as well. Um, this is this was probably going to be the case anyway, but now we'll have to pay special attention to make sure that this actually follows the design, uh, not only by translating the different pieces over to the side, but also by reshaping them properly. So sometimes making decisions for these little appearing lines as well can be an idea. Um, we didn't really have the full line on the torso, so we have it kind of thinning out over on this side. So these are all different decisions that can be taken uh, into consideration to uh, create the rig later on and to make sure that we have uh, the work not taking too much time for very small details that will hardly be noticed. So you want to also keep in mind those views that we have over on this side. As you can see here, the designer actually made lines around these little pieces of hair. So this is really something that comes back pretty often, especially on designs that don't have lines on them. So um, this is definitely something to be on the lookout for in uh, different designs such as these. All right, so I hope that was helpful. Thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next step. We're getting started on this rig.